welcome to our coverage of the WNBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the New York Liberty going up against the Dallas Wings. In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. And the Liberty start out with the ball. Now we're starting to see a little separation in the standings, so what's the mentality for a team right there in the middle? Keep fighting. Lots of teams make the playoffs, so a goal should be to avoid the play-in games. There is just such a huge divide between the top four and the rest. The best four regular season teams in the league, they get a single bye. But remember, the top two seats, the number one and two teams in the league, they get a double bye in the semifinals. So the regular season means so much. And it's Gray missing. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the rim. Here's Allen. That one a little long. She kind of short armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Mallory right side. Goes back up. And it's blocked by Rebecca Allen. They get it back. Four straight misses to start the game. Not looking good for them. Knocked away. And even three on three break. Now here's Gray. She's guarded closely. And it's good for two. Oh, they needed that one. Their first make in five attempts to start this game. Ionescu outside. Inside. First shot, first Sabrina, basket. Yes. She is out of the blocks fast. Never scared to score near the hoop. Ionescu has a really impressive touch inside. Pass to Gray. There's the triple. That one falls for the second basket of the game. For three. That's a heads up play right there, guys. Not just on the assist, but also on the finish. Here's Ionescu. Here's Allen. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing her first attempt. Well, that pick, it worked like a charm. A nice job taking it right to the tin for the lay. Pass to Gray. From deep. Good on the three-point shot. Alicia Gray. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Now here is Ionescu. She's tightly guarded. And Allery picks up the foul. That's her first foul. Great defense. He anticipated the play and got there first. And coaches love players that are just not afraid to put their bodies on the line and take a shot for the team. And here in the first, three minutes in. Outside Whitcomb. Plays it in without an inch of room around her. Such a well-rounded offensive player. She's got a little bit of everything. Pass to Collier. Shot from 12. It's not going to go for her. And New York will come the other way. Outside Whitcomb. Now Johannes. Laid in with a nice Johannes. touch off the glass. Assisted by and that'll tie Sammy this game up. That assist got a little nod from her teammate after the bucket. Out to the left wing. Here's Brewer. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. To the middle. And another miss by Dallas. And so it's New York with it. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. Johannes, chance there to take the lead, missing. Down low. Allery, no good. You know, typically she has the touch to finish when she's in that tight. Not sure what happened there. Pass to Johannes.
for three. And it's Collier with the rebound. Dallas with the ball. Here's Brewer. Back to Collier. And the shot goes in. It's going to take more than that to throw Collier off. That's a strong presence from Charlie down low. One second left. The shot off that time. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Wings out in front. They lead by a bucket. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. Oh, man. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Wings, what do you guys think? It's been a long-range battle for them, and one they are winning. Some sharp shooting from deep, a uh, big part of why they're up. Dallas in the lead. Now Brewer. Looking for her first basket still in this one. I can't believe it. They cannot forget about her like that. She's not going to miss that open look. And here's Johannes. Laney outside. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by Brewer. Vastaline. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Johannes. Laney outside. And here's Brewer. And she jams it in after taking a nice feed on the run. They're doing a nice job of stringing together solid possession to building that lead up. Yeah, and that's the key right there, consistency. They'll stay in control of this game if they stick with the game plan and don't waste possession. Absolutely. Call that Liberty time foul. on the way up, and that will give her two chances at the free first throw. First personal foul, teams first. First team foul. It's her first trip to the line. Shooting for Dallas, Brittany Brewer. Two shots. First one falls for her. That one falls, so she hits both of them. The Liberty Trail. And uh, just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Lady, good. Well, by no means is she a volume shooter from distance, but it's even better. Laney is an accurate shooter from deep. Here's Brewer. She has seven. Outside, Sobley. it up and banks it in. They really turned it around here in the second quarter after making under 40% from the field. Now here is Ionescu. Laney outside. Back to Ionescu. Six on the shot clock. It's stolen. And now the wings fast break. And again, it's the wings from deep. It's Gray's understanding of spacing and movement that, to me, help her navigate around the court so well. Now, here is Ionescu. Pass to Willoughby. Laney on the wing. Basket counts. When you look at Laney's numbers, she's not a wing who settles for threes. She thrives taking it to the rim. 
Dallas timeout, calls timeout. timeout. Wings. For those joining us, we're in the second quarter with just about three minutes gone by. Allery outside. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Ray. Nice Pass. jump shot from the top of the key. They're starting to warm up in the field this quarter. Adding to their lead, and you see that field goal percentage for the game steadily climbing. Yeah, we're not math guys, but you want it to increase as the game gets longer. Absolutely. Now here is Ionescu. Shook. Back to Ionescu. Five on the clock. Rebound Dallas. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. It certainly wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap. Here's Gray. Lays it up and in off the nice reverse. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. Just phenomenal ball movement. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off during this run. Now here is Ionescu. Here's the three. And again, so it's the Ionescu. Liberty from deep. A lethal sniper from outside the arc. The D has to rush Ionescu and run her off that three-point line. Here's Gray. 15 points in the game. Pass to Brewer. Fires for three. Whitcomb grabs the miss. Here's New York now. It's a 10-point game. Willoughby with it. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Here's Allen. That one doesn't drop. Alicia Gray with a defensive effort. Collier outside. Takes the three. Off to a good start as she hits her first shot attempt. Well, when Dungey shoots from the perimeter, she shows great focus. She doesn't want to waste those chances. Three-pointer Sabrina Ionescu. And again, Sabrina it's Ionescu. New York with a three. three. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball at uh, one end with their own. A three-point battle starting to take shape here. That'll do it for the first half. It's the Wings up 10. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter after the break. game from Gray. And I wonder how long she can continue to shoot the three ball as well as she has up to this point. She's been quite simply lights out. 
Yeah, exactly. And this is something we both know that sometimes you have those nights where the bucket looks as wide as the Grand Canyon, and it, it really might be one of those nights for her. And the second half about to start in just a few moments. Here's Brewer, covered by Ionescu. Gray outside. She can't get that one. And it's the Liberty taking it the other way. Pass to Allen. To the paint, and stolen by Gray. Now Brewer. Alema. The layup off target. Guarded by Sabali. Now Whitcomb. Here's Ionescu, and with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. It's been an extremely efficient, productive game for her, but really, she can't do it all herself. Gray outside, puts up a three, sinks the triple. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Such a pretty pass. I don't have an exact number for you, but I can tell you it's, we've seen it a lot. Okay, let's just say that. Strictly using assists as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. Now here is Ionescu. She's got 10. Outside Whitcomb. Over Gray. Whitcomb misses. And here's Sabali. Brewer. That one falls. Great assist by Saju Sabli. Standing 6'4", Sabli has excellent floor vision, allowing her to easily spot a ready time shooter. Out, time time out. And the Liberty call time here. Johannes. Laney outside. Shot clock at six. Another shot. The rebound by the wings. Well, Tim, they've only got a slight edge in rebounding, but it feels a lot bigger than that. The score has a lot to do with that, but overall effort and execution have been superior. Well, you allow someone to get to the rim like that, and really that's your only option. Yeah, free throws are always better than a layup. I would agree with that. That free throw, no good. Yeah. 
And no luck at the stripe this time. Second miss. And the Liberty with possession here. Trailing by 13. Doesn't go for her. Now Alamam. Quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. Buries the long range jumper. They are putting the hammer down. Just a huge leap for them. And it doesn't matter if we're talking about their offense or their defense because it has all been working for them. Yeah, to build this lead, you have to do both. Now here's Whitcomb. And they come right back Sunny. with their own three pointer. How about that for a response? We'll give you a three and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three point contest. Passed on them off. Aline. Now on them off. And she finishes nicely on the layup. Solid work right there. There's a big difference in field goal percentages of these teams in the second half. And that difference has come about because we've got one team moving sharply, getting good shots, and the other just a little bit stagnant. It's tough to watch. Yeah, one coach did his job at halftime. The other, not so much. And down it goes, jamming it all. You know, they love to see her get a lot more of those opportunities. That deficit will go away quickly if she does. And I like the way she capped that drive off. The one-hand punch. Time called here, the Wings decide to talk it over. solid lead at this point. Definitely on the other side, really not much resistance put up. Gray outside. From 11 feet away, and that one hits back iron. Here's Johannes. And it's Collier with the rebound. She just assumes she's going to knock those down when she's as open as she was there. Pass to Gray. The three ball gets a three-pointer to fall. She's really picking up where she left off in the first half. And here's Johannes. Willoughby. And it's Collier with the rebound. Here's Alema. Back to Collier. No good on that shot. Using her length. Nice job by Collier, disrupting the attempt. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. It's the Wings, up by 16. And time for a short break. Stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Welcome you back as we get going into the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. And the Liberty with possession here. It's a 16-point game. To the inside. Shook. Well, look, one of the reasons they're trailing is because we haven't seen enough of that. She has to become a bigger part of her offense. Here's Alema. To the paint. Here's Sabali. 
count it. Good. Clearly, Sabli not shy about a little physicality. Goes right through the contact. And the Liberty with possession here. They trail by 16. Sabrina Ionescu from outside. Drills Sabrina it from outside. Ionescu. Talk about Three. falling asleep on defense. I don't know how you can give a shooter like her that much space from beyond the arc. Count that one. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. We've played just over a minute here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Shook. Here's Allen. Now here is Ionescu. Floats one up. It's rebounded by Savali. Allery outside. Now Brewer. The three. And again, it's Dallas with the three. She's carrying a lot of the load offensively, and normally that's good news for them. Ionescu outside. Pass to Shook. And she makes good on the layup. They'll take as many of those high percentage shots as they can make. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. And here is Savoli. Pass to Alama. Clock at six. Right side, Sabli. And here is Aleman, covered by Ionescu. Aleman, shot is off. Ionescu outside. Bella Allery with the block. Here's Aleman. Pass to Brewer. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Now Johannes. Ionescu outside. Over Allery. Ionescu can't get it to go. The shot was there for her. She had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. Here's Alema. Pass to Sabali. Valery left side. Now Alema. From outside the arc. Drops in the tray. And add another three-pointer to their second half total. They came out of the break dropping bombs and are just not letting up. You love to see that. Johannes shot is off. And they've been really controlling this one. Never want to get too complacent, though. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. Personal foul, teams first. And it's going to be on Sabrina Ionescu. At the line for your Dallas Wings, Julie Alamon taking two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first. And the first one at the line is good. So, some changes for the Liberty. He's perfect from the line this time. Now here's Willoughby. Pass to Howard. Laney outside. Willoughby. 
Bangs home the Jocelyn trifecta. Wood. Well, she was wide open, and Laney found her. And they're making this a runaway. Yeah, the only question here for us to follow is how big uh, the lead will eventually become. To the left side wing. Jefferson with it. Six to shoot. And here is Alemont. Harrison no good. Here's Odom. She's covered by Jefferson. Pass to Willoughby. Up top, Laney. Puts up the three. And again, it's the Liberty from D. Great pass, great shot. Laney ready to deliver. And so it's Dallas easily grabbing this one. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, and they did a great job of execution, both uh, offensively, defensively, playing in control. When they had a misstep, they got right back to work and made up for it. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.